Hello again, Gemini. Thanks for stopping in and checking out these readings. It's always a pleasure to read for you, and I hope you're all doing quite well. I want to thank you for like so. Uh, Queen of Pentacles upside down. What's she doing out of place? And you got an Earth sign on your mind? I don't know what's going on. Uh, April's been a very busy month for many signs, I feel, and no exception for you, Gemini. Uh, I want to wish you all the best of abundance, comfort, love, joy, and all those things. We're just asking Tara what the messages for Gemini are in regards to stuck energies, potential healing energies, hidden messages for Gemini. This is your general reading for the mid-April, or hopefully I get these videos out right around the full moon I'm hoping for. But as you can see for my subscribers, the studio has changed up a bit. We've got a King of Cups now, so some of you definitely dealing with certain people have tuned in to find out maybe about others, about relationships, things of that nature. All right, I feel that Tarot's ready to go here. We always cut the deck into three. Some immediately, they pick up the middle deck. For me, I just kind of wave my hand across to see what's feeling right. As far as reversals go, I always just like to keep my deck uh, fluid. Um, you know, I would spin it around, I, you know, put cards in the middle, put them on top, shuffle them in. It's really just a matter of keeping that deck fluid. When I clean the deck, I don't even go through and put everything upright. I just like to keep a random number of cards the way they are. Speaking of reversals, we have a page coming in reverse for the overall energy of the reading. So yes, my first intuitive thought that a lot of you uh, here in Gemini are here to Find out about people in their lives. Other people, I believe, is true. Um, the Page of Wands is saying here that a lot of you could be um, looking to gain understanding in regards to people that you're either having to work with or you may be thinking about, could be passionate about, crushing on. It could be a vast array of things. The message from the Page of Wands here uh, as well when it comes reverse is that there could be some certain divisions of energies. There could be some things that you're... Uh, you're directing your time and your efforts towards and you're wondering if it's going to pay off, if, if uh, there's going to be a reward where effort is, is put forward here. And I feel some of you feel like that you have a long ways to go before you can really have what it is that you're wanting to bring into your life. Almost like the feeling is, is like kind of starting at square one. The fe I think for Gemini... Um, the first two weeks of April haven't been really easy. The feeling is, is that they're being depleted energy. Or you certainly could be waiting for news or situation uh, on a situation or on a person to come forward that has not yet come forward. Okay? Page of wands and an overall energy there. Wands is, tends to be a bigger energy. So there's a bigger message that you guys are waiting on, I feel. We're going to move through our seven chakra houses and try and relate back to Page of Wands reverse to see why she's there. Okay, when we're looking at Page of Wands, this also could be a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries that we're questioning about, a younger person, uh, and it could even be a, ch a child as well. So now with Four of Cups here. Gemini is kind of considering and wondering. There, yeah, there's almost like this blindness that I feel like uh, there's an unwillingness to sort of see or accept the situation for what it is. It's almost like you guys are almost happier not knowing or pretending that you don't know uh, about a certain situation just for state of sake of ease or state of mind kind of thing. Four of Cups and Grounding Energy, the feeling I have is, is that many of you aren't going to be moving through these two weeks with a lot of vibrant energy. This is more like mundane type energy. This is more like going through the motions type thing. Um, this could be in regards to relationships, you know, how you're acting uh, in a partnership on the home front if you cohabitate or live with somebody. Um, or as well, this could be... Uh, in terms of going about your work with a certain amount of passion, some of you may be feeling that uh, the overall workday, or you know, chasing the chasing the dream. What do they say now? They living the dream isn't really all it's cracked up to be. In spring, waiting for things to green up, waiting for you know summer to finally arrive. Might got some of you feeling just like, oh man, it's like 
we're kind of at the whim of nature or, or energy seem overwhelming and, and depleting all around us. So the, the encouragement here is to uh, keep fitness routines up, keep engaged uh, with whatever it is that brings you happiness, even if it seems like a lot of work. If you kind of got to force yourself, you don't want to go to the gym, maybe like start working at home, working out at home, doing what you can just to keep the energies from feeling so bogged down or so beyond your control. Because with these two cards together, the feeling I have is that some of you are viewing a situation that is beyond your control, but you're like, you're kind of putting your own blinders on, so to speak. Sorry if that's harsh. It's just what's coming through, Gemini. Now, Gemini, in creative energy, we have seven swords reversed. So yes, there is going to be some truth that comes to light, some message that you've been waiting on about uh, what somebody else has been doing or what other people's particular motivations are. Now, check it out. In all three of these readings, look at the amount of birds we got going on here. So the feeling I have with this here is that there is a certain situation where there are people that have different takes on it. People, it's almost like that old game where you, when you were kids and you sat in a circle and then you went around the circle and whispered a sentence into somebody's ear and by the time it got back around to the other end of the circle like the message had totally changed because it had already come through like you know 15 or 20 different people this is kind of the feeling i have for this situation some of you might have been involved with a with somebody or a particular scene a crowd of people uh you may have gotten a bad rap or you may be have been involved in giving somebody a bad rap or a situation that could have occurred where somebody got in trouble, I feel like, um, and in trouble, it could be legal trouble, but it's more so often like maybe somebody got fired and, and you know, some, and it could have been you or maybe, you know, you got laid off or let go and you feel like it wasn't really deserved, like somebody like threw you under the bus kind of thing is the situation I have. And you're almost like you might be waiting for the truth to come out about that person that threw you under the bus sort of thing. Okay, that's what I got. And the truth will come out here. Um, just kind of be passionate. And stick to your truth. Stick to your guns. Um, pick your friends very closely. The Four of Cups always says, confide in the people, you know, the ones that are, you know, keep your friends closer and your enemies even closer kind of thing uh, for the next little while just to make sure that, you know, you're feeling secure. You don't want to be divulging too much information to people you're not 100% about. Okay, that's a four of cups, seven of swords, what we see there. Okay, here come the people now. Here come some more court cards. We have king of pentacles reversed uh, in gut instinct. So for some of you, this could be a, an earth energy or somebody in the material world. This could be um, a boss or a father or an older sibling or somebody that it may be uh, exuding some sort of control um, over your situation. When the King of Pentacles is reversed, it's like this is a greedy person. This is someone that is not moving out of the earthly plane. This is someone that is really like closely guarded about their monies, their resources, and the things around them. Um, and with this Seven of Swords, it's almost like uh, somebody might be a little bit paranoid of somebody else stealing from them, could come back to intellectual property, or it could just come back to somebody being very miserly and not giving you enough freedom or room to work. Or you could also be in a relationship with an earth sign and they're not giving you much freedom to be yourself is the feeling I have here with this Gemini. And this goes to be because the, also the King of Pentacles in reverse, it shows a lack of uh, confidence. It's like uh, like a low self-esteem, but unnecessarily so. Like this person could be like very jealous of who you're spending your time with or, you know, every moment you're not with them, they're like freaking out thinking, oh my goodness, like they could be cheating or they're not doing what they want. And then at the end of the day, you know, somebody's sick and tired of being accused of uh, being unfaithful or not, you know, holding up their end of the shtick, so to speak, when it's actually this person, this earth energy person that's just being like uh, not not confident enough, too guarded, uh, and, and overall just greedy about the people in their life kind of thing, Okay. King of Pentacles, that's gut instinct. So interesting to see. We'll see if it, anything else resonates with that.
Now in the heart we have five of swords reverse. So yeah, some sort of division, some sort of situation. We got more birds flying here. Some sort of situation where like none of the energy is really overly grounded here other than you you have a strong sense of you're feeling what you're feeling for a reason. Some sort of like process or circumstance has got you feeling a certain way and you're justified in feeling that way, Gemini. But there's like certain cloudiness in mentally. There's there's not much to go on here. Things are like hidden from you. People are not being honest with you. People are not being overly truthful with you or forthcoming. I don't feel like they, they might not be necessarily just like straight up lying to you, but they might not be like being as open with, someone might not being as open with you as much as you're used to. And perhaps you're the one now that's becoming suspicious, right? On the, in this sort of situation. Now with five of swords reverse in the heart energy, it's almost like some of you might have already caught somebody red handed doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing. And now the seven of swords energy that's reversed here is just like now, like almost the feeling I have is like somebody might have come, come clean about being unfaithful. And now it's like affecting you and you're deciding what it is you should do next. Right. This energy is like kind of turned upside down. You were passionate about this person. Now all the passion's gone out of this relationship because they might not have necessarily cheated on you with another person, but maybe they're just like playing computer games all day or like watching porn all day instead of like being with you. Or, you know, maybe they like got a muscle car in the driveway and they're always working on that instead of like, you know, giving you kisses or giving you roses or, you know, like that's kind of gender specific. But you, you get the gist of what I was saying, you know. They're doing something else rather than giving the attention, the passion to the relationship that you need to have, right? And when there's not a lot of cups here. We've got swords, we've got wand, we've got everything going on here. So this is affecting you on many different levels. And Gemini, that's natural for the sign. If something happens in the mind, it happens in the heart. If something happens in the heart, it happens in the soul. You know, and all of these things kind of come together. So do your best to stay grounded. So far, what I'm seeing here is this four of cups is kind of like... A good grounding energy it's almost like you're kind of wanting to wake up take a deep breath thank the universe for your health for everything you got going on around you and realize that sometimes there's certain donkeys in our life that we've given too much credit to we've given them an inch and they've taken a mile you know we've got to kind of cut our losses sometimes and just remain grounded in good health good eating be the best version of yourself and watch the people around you, uh, whether it's a king of pentacles reverse or these people you're dealing with that are not like throwing you under the bus or not telling the truth about situations. Let them fall by the wayside and things could come out okay. Now, that's in the heart. Let's move up to communication, see if there's anything actively we can do about this to see what's going on. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Okay, so this here, maybe some Gemini's are looking at situations where if they could just get something off their chest, if they could just uh, really tell somebody how they were feeling and truthfully feeling, then fulfillment could come. New doorways could go open up. New understandings could be attained that would not leave you feeling so trapped or so so grounded. It could lead to a little bit of passion. It could be lead to a little bit of uh, uh, more active romance i guess is the feeling i got here um the nine of cups to me is a very uh, sensual card i guess it means like in terms of togetherness or like the the act of making love the art of making love your cup runneth over with emotional abundance and sharing here whereas like the four of cups is more like more guarded emotions so this is grounding this is almost like a conversation when needs to happen there's there's somebody that's got to reveal how they're feeling and when we went back to say you're feeling a certain way and justly so, this is saying that there will be an opportunity or that there's a conversation about how you're feeling that's going to need to happen. You're going to need to confide in someone or tell somebody directly how it is you're feeling in order to get a certain burden, this certain like not knowing where to turn these certain blinders, that energy away from you and get more into this nine of cups energy where you're like, okay, I've gotten it off my chest. I've told somebody about it. Uh, they know how I'm feeling and maybe some action can occur where you're feeling that you're, you can get what you need out of the situation. Okay? Up into spirit questing. Now we have nine of swords. Yes. So do this. Just 
If you can get this off your chest, if you can change direction, if you can get away from the lies, the snootiness, or the rumor mill, or whatever it is that's going on, uh, you're going to be able to allow this, the trouble, allow the, the heavy-hearted energy that's around you to, will eventually subside. And this is going to happen at bedtime. I said when you wake up, take a deep breath and be grateful. Then when you go to bed at night, do the same thing. Take Concentrate on your breathing exercises and, and gratuity to the universe for the little things, for your health, uh, for the breath, for your beating of your heart, uh, for the fact that you know things could have gotten bad, but they could have been a lot worse. And it looks to the situation here is... Some Geminis just basically cut and ran from a very toxic situation and they almost had to like tell somebody about what was going on because it was so f messed up that, you know, they, they had to like break away from it and not like you were blowing the whistle or snitching or anything, but you had to tell somebody how you were feeling. And if you don't, there's the risk of this being this way and we don't want that, right? Now we've got this, you know, sorry, this card's are sticky. Um, this nine of cups upright and the chakra below it saying that if we have this conversation, if we can confide, we're going to be able to sleep a lot better at night. And maybe we're getting rid of like the proverbial nightmare of like having to face something in the morning sort of thing. Okay. So that's what I got there. Now, Gemini, we've got five cups reversed up in crown energy. Gosh, what? Like these are pretty rough cards. But you know what? All of these rough cars are coming up in reversal saying that like these tumultuous heavy energies are almost like they're ending, right? So what Source is saying here is like there's almost going to be an act of forgiveness that occurs here. There's almost going to be an act of like a certain truth that comes to light that allows for a completion of a cycle to occur. Now, whatever that means to you, that's just kind of what I was prompted to say. So, but there is forgiveness occurring here in these two fives that are reversed. Um, and it could be a situation where somebody might be like, uh, you might be forgiving someone because they've promised that they're going to change. Or someone might come and confide in you and you may decide to forgive them for whatever it is. You may confront them. They may say they're sorry, things change, and then you forgive them. And then now you're able to see a little bit of the bigger picture. You're able to see a future with that person. Or you're able to see that now you need to go in a specific direction if for some reason this fulfillment in communication leads you to believe that you have to like sort of uh, stand your ground, stand your guard, and not let them come forward anymore. So the overall feeling here I get with this is like not too much is going to be overly resolved here, Gemini, but you are dealing with some sticky situation with other, with external factors, external people in your life. Okay. So let's just take a look at some clarifiers here. I just want to see what's going on with this seven of swords in sacral. And I would like to see what's going on with this nine of swords, um, five, nine and five of swords. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to kind of look at this because we've got we've got five, seven, nine of swords, which is more like um, kind of uh, active energy, right? But it's reversed, so it's showing it maybe uh, an active receptive energy, and they're all it's all mental, it's all mental. So what do we have here? We've got this card for me is a is a lack of expansion, be feeling trapped, not being able to expand. So whatever it is here that's locked up in your mind is not allowing you to go forward. So with this, with this airship here, being able to talk about your situation is going to allow you to fly high. It's going to allow you uh, to, to, to overcome, to like escape the situation. What I mentioned earlier about being able to cut and run. So something has occurred that's not allowed you to like be yourself in a situation and you're really desiring to be that way you're really needing to break free of this energy uh and it shows that you may that you may do so this uh snake here with the thing here is almost like the feeling i have is whatever's got you down is is really unhealthy now this could be like uh drug use this could be um uh more so like this person that could be like dealing with like porn addiction or wanting to bring you down a certain road where you know like it could even be like gambling somebody could be gambling too much with this king of pentacles reverse and all this mental surrounding it 
something here that's just very toxic that you know you need to break free of um but there could be some situation where it's like there may be forgiveness involved where you don't have to like make such a clean cut but you can actually do some mutual healing with somebody as long as you're talking about the situation right this is your powerhouse card this nine of cups in communication we're going to have to talk about it and this card here for me as well is a communicative card so with all this mental stuff going on around you just realize until you talk about it if it's all locked up in your head this stuck energy may continue for you, Gemini. There's going to be a need to discuss. There's going to be a need to communicate about it. Oh, my goodness. We got the card coming out from Enchanted Map Oracle deck. You guys have number 40, Follow the Leader. So this is kind of a cool tree. It looks like a old, big old maple there in the background. It's got a little clock that's already grown into. It's a very, like, Winnie the Pooh type thing. For those of you who don't know who Winnie the Pooh is, it, like, it's all good. Uh, then we've got like a goose and a duck and a fairy and like this road. So follow the leader, this is called. So all these creatures, all these like organic life entities, they're all different, but they're all kind of like involved in this dance or this certain situation that's going on that's got them sort of captivated, captivated and brought together. So let's just have a look at number 40, follow the leader. 40 is a pretty powerful number. We won't get into the numerology, but... We'll have a look and see. And I quote, Every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. So again, talking back to the people, external factors, right? People around you. You're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery in the adventure of your life. The experience of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears that were shed, and joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallized into a talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it. Being fully authentic, you'll lead others into the light. You'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you might help someone else. Lead with love. There is another message here as well. Look to those whose great character and accomplishments you admire. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will then in turn have more to offer. So yes, how, how true is that when we talk to like these toxic relationships and this forgiveness and, and now this card is saying you have the, the potential to be the talisman, someone's saving grace to like, um, like intervene to help them and say, you know, maybe, hey, Jim, Bob, you know, you realize you lost $600 last week at the casino, uh, you know, maybe we should like go dancing instead and, or, you know, if you continue on this road, you know, my brother Bob or my dad, you know, this is what happened to them and like you're communicating, you're telling them these stories and this person may respect you for that and may understand you or with the nine of cups and talks with somebody might be drinking too much. Somebody might be hoarding. You might be a situation with that king of pentacles reverse. Somebody might be in a situation where they're just like almost suffocating to death with like hoarding in their house is almost like the ending and like you have to like maybe interact with it maybe it's like an ex who you share children with or or somebody just like that you want to get them out of that type of situation right um so yeah gemini this reading was more about people your interactions um honesty and pulling yourself away from negative and toxic energy i hope it resonated with many of you know that i love you all and we'll see you next time